Hello there. I've recently become aware that there's been a major update to the OpenWeb RX software. And uh, OpenWeb RX is a really great way of running your own remote receiver. You can use it with uh, an RTL SDR dongle, one of the little cheap dongles. I use mine with my um, RSP. Uh, 1A, SDR Play RSP1A. You can also use an AS by uh, HF uh, dongle. And using this software, as you may have seen in my earlier videos, you can control your receiver remotely. You can access it over your own network. And you can also access it over the internet. And the big advantage of it is you can access it on any device that runs a web browser. You don't need to install any software. Uh, all the software will be on, um, well I use a Raspberry Pi uh, that runs your uh, SDR receiver and then you, as I say you can just remotely access from a PC or a, an iPad, an Android device, whatever, anything that runs a, a web browser. One of the um, difficulties with OpenWebRx in the past has been that in order to change any of the standard settings uh, you have to go into the configuration files and um, that's written in a language called Python and you have to be very very careful that you get the syntax exactly right if you're adding an extra band that you want the receiver to cover or you're doing anything additional it can be quite difficult if you're someone like me that isn't familiar with uh, any sort of programming and in particular with the Python uh, language and the syntax that's uh, required. Now with this new update of OpenWebRx you can see I'm running my uh, remote receiver on the screen. In fact it's my secondary receiver. This one isn't online yet. It's just on my local network because I'm just uh, testing out the uh, the new version. But it looks pretty much like any other OpenWebRx screen. We're on the 19 meter band here. I'll just uh, turn the volume up. Okay, so we've got a kind of strong station there on the, on the 19 meter band 15340. Waterfall display is what we're familiar with with OpenWeb RX. And at the top of the screen, you'll see that we've got the uh, usual options, the uh, the status bar we can remove by clicking that button or restore by clicking it again. We can click the log button and that'll give us um, some basic information that the uh, program's running correctly. We can remove it by clicking the button. The receiver tab, you'll see by clicking that it uh, takes away the uh, the table that uh, gives us all of our receiver controls. We'll click that again. We've got a map setting which is very useful if you're decoding data which will actually map the received stations on a world map view. But uh, importantly in this update uh, at the right hand corner you'll see we've got a settings tab. I'll just click that and this is the change with the new software. This makes it an awful lot easier for us to amend the settings and set up our uh, SDR receiver just as we want it. And in this case I'll just show you the SDR devices and profiles menu and we click on that square. These are the receivers that out of the box OpenWeb SDR uh, software will run with. Let's select AirSpy for an example. If we click on AirSpy, this screen tells us the settings that are currently, the out of the box settings if you like, that are currently there for an AirSpy receiver. You'll see there's a limited number of bands pre-programmed. We've got 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, 80 meters, and the 49 meter broadcast band. Okay. Uh, this was very similar for the uh, settings for my SDR Play device. You'll see it here. I'll click on that. This is the device that's actually running at the moment. 20, 30, 40, 80 meters, 49 meters broadcast. And I've added 31 meters, the medium wave band, and the 25 meter band. And you'll see down here I've also added the 19 meter band which we just saw. If we want to add another band now, instead of having to go into the configuration file, we just click new profile. 
and we can do all of our settings in here so if we wanted to make it um, let us think we could have the uh, 16 meter broadcast band so let's put 16 meters in there we'll have a um, center frequency of um, uh, let's see 17 500 it's as good as any we'll have a sample rate of 1 megahertz so we'll put uh, we'll drop this to ms stroke s so a sample rate in there of 1 okay initial frequency this should be the startup frequency when we switch to that band again it's not uh, crucial what we put in here but let's put um, let's put 17700 uh, kilohertz okay so that's going to be wrong let's put that back 17700 that's it and we want um, I mean this is a broadcast band so we want the software to start up in AM mode when we switch to that band so we can just select AM there we won't specify any uh, additional settings at the moment there's others that we could go into we'll apply and save that now if we go back to our receiver tab over here we should have a 60 meter tab and we can switch on to 60 meters of course there was unlikely to be here uh, <laughs> for condi HF conditions are awful at the moment I wasn't expecting a great deal on here is there something there or is it just noise let's click there let's have a look no it's just uh, just noise but we can see that we've got the um, 16 meter band running we've set it up switch back to the 19 meter band where there's a bit more activity and tune um, and there we go so I hope you'll agree that having this settings dialogue here makes life an awful lot more easier if we want to alter anything on open web rx um, I'll do another video where we can look at um, some of the other general settings that we can change which is not only the um, profiles and by profiles generally what we're talking about is adding additional bands additional frequencies and that's only limited by what your SDR uh, can cover but there's also other settings we can change here um, the receiver name that appears in the um, the top banner um, the photographs that appear in the top banner and the waterfall settings and so on so we look at those again but for the time being I thought it was just useful to look at the profiles and see how much easier now it is to um, to add the extra bands I'll leave a link to the uh, new software uh, down in the description box um, you'll also there's quite a lot of information on how to set it all up um, on the um, open web rx um, uh, dot io group and there's also an open web rx wiki uh, with some very useful information which i'll also link to but um, there we go open web rx the uh, the latest update well worth downloading thank you for watching